So we're on bubble 10 of the functions lesson. We've written our functions for our coin movement and for what happens on the collection process now of that. Uh, what we're being asked to is to do a background with a score. Uh, and we're going to do this in a series of two separate functions. So if I'm gonna come down here, I'm going to write my first function just for my simple background. So I'm going to go function, and I'll call this one exactly what they're asking, simple background. And I'm going to open my bracket for this function. And I'm getting that yellow error because I haven't set uh, or haven't called that function yet. So I'm going to go parentheses or quotation marks white. So now when I run that simple background function, I'm going to have a plain white background. Now I'm going to do another function. I'll call this complex background. Again, I'm going to open up that function. And I have something already pre-done, so I'm going to pause here. And what you're going to see is I just pasted in a bunch of different shapes and other things and colors for this complex background here. Uh, as we can see, I need to, uh, I want to make this, uh, get rid of this. I had that as an error there. So there we go. And again, I'm using my red, green, blue colors there. Now what I need to do is I need to set up a spot where I can call these functions. And what the program is asking for is if you caught 10 different coins to call this function uh, to go from a simple background to a complex background. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come up here and wherever my um, bunny is touching, I'll go right after there because after the score display. And I'm gonna write the simple statement, if my score variable is, they say 10, but for the sake of this, I'm gonna do it as three just for the demonstration purposes. If the score variable is less than three, I want my simple background. So I'm going to call that function. Now, if it's not less than three, I'm going to open up my else statement and I want my complex. I'm going to call that function. Oh, I have an extra R in there. So now when I run my game, I get that simple background. But as my bunny catches its coins and we get three, I get that complex background that I had created. So again, it just shows a way that we can write functions down at the bottom of our program here and then within here we're going to call those functions uh, again inside of our draw loop uh, to make this occur.